All right, then.
Thanks. All right. I'm going home. It's quite warm out. Hey. I see. By the way, give it a try. <laughs> That's it. No way. What do you think?
Let's head back. Hey. Yo. Hey. Yo. Now listen up. Over six hours to get there, so why not sleep on the plane? I'll do that. Oh, it's almost time to check in. <sighs> Looks like it's gonna take off on time. I feel like a lot of flights headed to America tend to run late or get canceled. Is it just me, or is Ryuji not here yet? Ah, oh. <sighs> I wasn't expecting to make a mad dash like this. Coming late even on a day like this? That's all you're bringing. Well, it's only four nights, right? Ain't it enough? See? I think that was sarcasm. Hey guys, they want us to gather near the boarding gate soon. Why don't we take a group shot before we take off? Oof, sounds good. You be our cameraman, okay? Let me join in too! You too, Makoto! <laughs> All right. Uh huh? Uh, where am I supposed to look? Let me see! Let me see! <laughs> what? Holy shit, she's right. How could you tell, Futaba? Talk about a nasty trick!
So, how long will you be staying? Yeah, I'm so excited. <laughs> I have no idea, though. <laughs> Tropical air! Hi, aloha! You can find your buses Whoa. that way. Damn, you speak Japanese? Whoa, I see it! The diamond thing! Oh man! The ocean is so blue! <laughs> Yes, we're here! Hawaii! I am so embarrassed. Huh, is this the smell of Hawaii? Actually, I've been wondering since the airport, but uh, what is this smell? Supposedly the lingering scent of carpet cleaner. It's coconut scented. Plus, I'd say the scent of plumeria for the lays are amplifying the tropical atmosphere here. <laughs> what are you, the king of random facts? <laughs> I'm the type that likes to look up stuff beforehand. Then, uh, tell me a cheap but good place to eat. Do that after we figured out room assignments. We can't go out until we get our keys. I want a room with this guy. You belong to a different class, Sakamoto-kun. I can't? It complicates roll call. Everyone butts you out, after all. I bet there aren't many people who'd be okay rooming with you. Shut up! We both stick out like a sore thumb, you know. Takamaki-san, have you decided on which room to stay in? No, not yet. In that case, how about rooming with me? And if it's okay with you, do you want to walk around together once we're free to go about? We've never gone overseas before, so we thought it'd be reassuring if we had someone who knows English. Oh, sure, of course. Well, see you guys later. Oh, come on, can you just hurry up and make your decision? Oh, then is it okay if I room with you? It's decided then. Anyway, don't do anything stupid, okay? This isn't Japan, you know. So this is Waikiki. Well, there sure are a ton of people here. And a lot of tall buildings like hotels. It's a little too clean here. Feels like an artificial resort. Still, look how clear the ocean is. The palm trees definitely give off a tropical vibe, too. I thought On was pretty impressive, but compared to the foreign ladies? Nah. Then stop looking! You think so too, don't you? Like, these ladies are massive unlike the girls in Japan. I know, right? Moving on, take a look over there. Isn't that Diamond Head? Oh, I saw it from the bus, too! But why is it called that? Are diamonds a local product? Wouldn't it say online? Ah, there we go. Wait, people long ago mistook volcanic rock for it? An F? Might as well look up recommended places in Waikiki, too! Oh, right! I wanted to eat pancakes! I wonder if there are any online recommendations of scenic spots. We should check for cheap and popular restaurants, then. Hey, we're on our phones and chatting. This is no different from when we're in Japan. Even if we're overseas, we can see all the news in Japan if we got our phones. It's like, God, this ain't what I was expecting. We should do something that's more Hawaii-like. What's Hawaii-like? Uh, hula dancing? 
Uh-uh, I ain't down for that. We can finally take a breather. Oh, by the way, you know how the polls for the fan site rankings started, right? It's been really lively, huh? I'm the one who made the website, but even I'm surprised. I can't believe I'm part of such a huge thing. I'm so glad I've been rooting for the Phantom Thieves. On the contrary, did you hear about Akechi, that detective against the thieves? The good-looking one. His popularity plummeted after Medjet was dealt with. Supposedly, his official blog's up in flames. He posed as some hero of justice, but... That's what he gets for not seeing eye to eye with them. Uh, to be blunt, I can't focus on this trip. I keep thinking about the Phantom Thieves. Don't you think about them too? You sure are calm. Something this amazing rarely happens, you know? But then again, I think I'm feeling a bit tired too. Ah, let's go to bed. Good night. way. Hold on a sec! To tell the truth... What is the matter? Hmm. Oh, 
Oh, yeah. Yes. it one after another too what did you find still working can't tell you <laughs> she can handle this without me Ooh, so much all I'm good for is driving them around in mementos I'm basically useless kitty your mumbling's distracting me if you got something to say just spit it out it's nothing what were you saying? Let me go! You feel so nice. I do not! So smooth and silky. It's kind of hard to believe fur this soft belongs to a human. Don't make me say it again. I'm a human! Couldn't you just be assuming that? I had the wrong assumptions about my mom for the longest time. It's not the same. I understand myself better than anyone. That's true. <sighs> there are even more posts now. Oh, wow. The president of a company called Okumura Foods is rising very quickly up the rankings. Come on! You can't let this chance pass you by. It's rumored that Okumura Foods exploits their employees. Stuff like underpaying staff to reduce labor costs. That's how they have so many stores. What's up? Yo. Why are you here? Just hear me out. The guy I'm rooming with went and brought his girlfriend back to the room. I felt totally awkward staying in there with him. I'm just gonna sleep here tonight. Even though there are only two beds? 
coming. Takamaki? The girl I was sharing a room with took off to her boyfriend's room. I know that feeling. And she took the key. I stepped outside for just a second and the auto lock kicked in. I can't get back in my room. Huh? You're looking at stuff online even over here? Ever since the Medjet case, many people from overseas have been accessing the website. Isn't it crazy? The Phantom Thieves are finally making their worldwide debut. Oh, what should I do about overseas requests? I, I don't think we're the ones you should ask about that. They took down Medjet. I wonder who they'll bring justice to next. It's not just Japan anymore. The whole world's waiting to see the Phantom Thieves' next move. That reminds me, what time is it? <sighs> oh, so sleepy. I'm feeling pretty pooped. You think this could be that jet lag thing? It'll be too much hassle for me to go anywhere else. I'll just sleep in here tonight. Wait, what? I don't, I don't know if that's a good idea. Don't worry, I trust you guys. I saw that one coming. There are only two beds. Even if someone sleeps on the sofa. One of us is gonna have to sleep on the floor. So who's that gonna be? Oh, hey, playing cards. Why don't we use these to decide? I'm all the way in Hawaii, and I'm stuck sleeping on the floor. Hey, where'd Mishima go? He's in the bathroom. Ain't he been in there a while? The school trip. Shiho was really looking forward to this. On. Sorry, I didn't mean to bring the mood down. But it's already been almost six months since then, hasn't it? <laughs> this all feels so strange. Right? Hard to believe the rowdy kids at school are now famous all over the world. Don't you think we still have a lot to learn about each other, though? You know, things like what kind of people we like. So, time to come clean, Ryuji. Me? Uh, well, she's got to have a good personality. I'm okay with anyone who's modest and nice. What about if two girls with equally good personalities confess to you at the same time? If they're equally nice, uh, then it'd have to be the one with the hotter bod. So looks are what's most important to you. What? Your first answer was just superficial. The second answer was your true beliefs. Huh. So you really are that kind of guy. That ain't fair! What about you? Come on, spill the beans. What kind of girl is your type? Wait, are you talking about her? Well, we answered honestly. It's your turn next. So, what kind of guy do you... Something. So, what kind of guy do you... My stomach! <sighs> that doesn't sound good. You know, wasn't he drinking the tap water earlier? That's like... The one thing you're not supposed to do when you're out of the country. No, I believe that is a wise decision. Though it was some third-rate tabloid's article. Unnecessary information was leaked, after all. Besides, his investigation of the Phantom Thieves showed no progress since then. Yes. There's a possibility that he'll betray us out of spite since he was let go. Well, then. We'll make it so that it was a heart attack. As usual, he'll be left to deal with the... Oh? I wouldn't have thought of that. Well played, sir. It no longer matters if we deal with one or two of those connected to us.
Just... As I was saying... I didn't expect to see you here. It's quite a nice surprise. Um, do I look strange in this? Perhaps I should go change. Huh? Oh, thank you very much. Um, shall we take a walk? Looks like they sell shrimp. Shrimp are symbolic of living a long life. Shall we have some? I wonder how they'll taste. You two from Japan? Yes. How about them phantom thieves, huh? The guys that steal hearts. <laughs> You've heard about the phantom thieves? Heard about it on the news. They're all the rage in Japan, yeah? Say, if you run into him, tell him I say hello, and ask him to change people's hearts so everyone loves shrimp. <laughs> sure. Oh, they're quite pungent. It's so beautiful. This is a refreshing break from staring at a shogi board all day long. I feel as if I'll be able to come up with some great new moves once I return home. Were you bored spending time with me? We would have had a more enjoyable time if I had made better conversation. <sighs> you are always so kind. Um, this is for you. I would be delighted if you remembered this day. If only we went to the same school. Yes, I'd like that. The sun is about to set. We should start heading back.
Um... That aside... No need for you to have angered our director right now. But still, you would have eventually shut up if you just not I guess you got a point. <laughs> Yo, welcome back. You get tanned a bit? How was Hawaii? <gasps> He's been influenced. Uh, I can understand why. While you guys were off having fun, things here have gotten a bit more problematic. So I've heard the surprisingly hot items at the moment are masks and calling cards. Here's a graph of the profits for stores handling these items. Double from last year? Phantom Thief goods seem to be in especially high demand. I didn't know they sold that kind of stuff. Should we try to? I mean, selling Phantom Thief merchandise? Maybe I'll toss some dry ice on the side, you know? Give it that phantom -y effect. <laughs> uh, I'm just joking, all right? I wonder how our guests consider this recent phenomenon. What do you think of Ketchy Coon? Well... There he is, the anti-thief detective. I hope he slips up and self-destructs. <laughs> I can sense some chivalry behind their actions. They are clever to take the silent resentments of the public into account and relieve them. I believe that may be the secret to their popularity. Well, this is surprising. Your stance seems to have softened. This doesn't change the fact that they are dangerous. 
However, no, I shouldn't say anymore. Come on, you can say it. Oh no, I won't be falling for that. I've learned my lesson after the previous backfire. These thieves are more popular than the police or politicians. What's the world coming to? Rude! What are you so angry about? Hey, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Take care of any customers that show up. I finished the analysis. You know, of the data. Wanna meet now? Seriously? Jet lag? Fine then. Tomorrow. Let's do it. Hey, sis. You just got back from your trip and you're already studying? How diligent. I have souvenirs for you. The principal of Shujin Academy has passed away. <laughs> He suddenly stopped while crossing the road and was struck by a large vehicle. Death by external trauma. They say suicide seems to be a strong possibility. Principal Kobayakawa committed suicide? But would someone about to kill themselves try to go to the police station? He even used a taxi to get there. Do you mean this might be another incident? Even if he had a sudden shift in his state of mind, it's still unnatural. I can only suspect that he had a change of heart. Are you saying he was targeted by the Phantom Thieves? But that's impossible! How are you so certain? W well uh, in prior cases, the changes of heart seem to be done to make people confess their crimes. It's hard to explain, but this incident seems contradictory to their usual modus operandi. Did Principal Kobayakawa seem any different to you lately? I don't really know. He rarely contacted the students, after all. I see. Could something have happened during the school trip? Oh, you're studying. I'm sorry to bother you. Makoto? Hmm? N never mind, it's nothing. Just don't get dragged into trouble, okay? Better tell the others. What's up? about you know what right with the principal we will now
now begin the emergency morning assembly. As many of you may already know, Principal Kobayakawa passed away yesterday. I wonder if that suicide room was for real. It happened in front of the police station, didn't it? I think I was passing through there at the time. The principal had been working hard to restore peace ever since the incident with Mr. Kamoshida. He only wished for everyone to be able to lead a normal school life. And because of that love... Love? Bullshit, he was covering something up. Everyone's been talking about it. Maybe it wasn't suicide. Do you think the Phantom Thieves took him down? The Phantom Thieves? Do they kill people? I mean, Kamoshida did say he was gonna kill himself to make up for everything he did. That would be amazing! Either way, it serves that principle right. Hell no! We didn't do jack shit! Are people gonna blame us for this, too? I would like to see everyone live up to our late principal's wishes as proud Shujin students, and... <sighs> I had noticed traces of tampering. Does that mean you truly took the data from my laptop? No matter how I think about it, that would have been impossible unless Makoto was helping you. But she would never do something so foolish. And is it true that you were completely uninvolved with the Kobayakawa case? What does this mean? <sighs> but I suppose targeting someone at Shujin again and actually taking their life would be nonsensical. I have no reason to believe everything you've said. However, it seems you aren't the type of person who would lie just to protect themselves. I will acknowledge what I must. It's more efficient that way. All right. In any case, let's move on to the topic at hand. If you saw my investigation data, you would have had the same suspicions I did about Okumura. And if you looked into his palace, you should have seen the answer to those suspicions. Tell me, what did the Phantom Thieves do to Okumura? What did you learn from him? Why did it turn out as it did? I need you to tell me everything. Before we talk about the data we got from Sis, we need to discuss the incident with the principal. People are already talking about it online. Nobody's saying it's because of the Phantom Thieves. So far. People think he did it because that tabloid exposed how he was covering up Kamoshida's abuses. Could it be that we're responsible for Principal Kobayakawa's suicide? What do you mean? If we hadn't changed Kamoshida's heart, maybe this never would have happened. But then Kamoshida would have kept doing what he did if we didn't go and take him down. There's a lot of opinions online. It's only natural that he died. Covering up crimes is wrong. The comments I've seen are similar as well. Only the Phantom Thieves are on our side. I wish the Phantom Thieves would take down the police and the politicians of this country. It's not just the news. There's even Phantom Thieves merchandise now. I never expected we'd end up such a big deal. It seems like the public would rather believe in us than in the adults. People are trying to get the Phantom Thieves to solve societal problems, not just personal ones. This is kind of scary. Are we really doing the right thing? I mean, the principal was covering stuff up, right? I guess he got what was coming to him. That's... <laughs> Whoa, guys, let's get back on topic. Weren't we going to discuss the data we obtained from Nijima? You tell them, Inari. Why me? 
First, Prosecutor Nijima has been looking into the continued cases of people suddenly collapsing. It seems she is searching for a common thread to tie them all together. Some parts seem to be speculation, but she has cited a beneficiary of the majority of these incidents. The corporation Okumura Foods. More prominently, its CEO, Kunikazu Okumura. Okumura? I feel like I've heard that name somewhere. From Big Bang Burger. Big Bang Burger? For real? You know, they only got famous sometime in the past few years. They even had a branch in Hawaii. It says here they benefited both from scandals and the resignations of their competitors' executives. That would seem to be the case. This is too suspicious, though. Only one CEO is profiting from these seemingly accidental incidents. I think it's natural to suspect he's intentionally causing them. I get that, but still... We have even more evidence than that. Tell them, Futaba. I already tried putting Okumura's name in the NAF. He has a palace for sure. That settles it then! He's totally our next target! That's right. Okumura is at the top of the rankings after all. Hold on. That doesn't necessarily mean he's evil. If we jump into this too carelessly... Beyond that, this Phantom Thieves fad is... unsettling. Yeah... the excitement levels don't feel normal. We might want to let things calm down a bit first. You too, Han? You're just gonna go against what people want? Huh? No, but... For real? L looks like we're not gonna agree today, then. Sheesh! Some team you are! What's with all the hesitation? I can't stand this! Even you, Ryuji! You just back down the second someone disagrees with you! What? I guess all you've been talking about is using the Phantom Thieves' name to pick up girls anyway. Being hyped up because of the popularity is fine, but getting conceited over it is unacceptable. Hey! Aren't you acting for your own benefit here, too? My appearance might have changed, but I'm still an admirable human. At the very least, I'm more admirable than some carnal blonde monkey! You little... Fine. I can take on some small-time target like Okumura on my own. Sorry, but it looks like I'll be getting the credit for solving the mental shutdown mystery. Well, well she was she more was useful more than you, as a matter of fact. 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 Hey, that's inexcusable! I'm going to show you who the useless one actually is! Alright then, bring it on! Ryuji, stop! Looks like I don't belong here after all. Well, this is goodbye. Uh, Morgana, wait! See you. I bet he's back in no time. <sighs> Damn it! I can't believe this. The public believes in the justice of the Phantom Thieves. They have no interest in that principle. I'm experiencing equal levels of frustration. My comments on TV turned everyone against me. Then again, I won't allow mere criticism to break my spirit so easily. We won't keep letting ourselves be defeated either. My suspicion after the hacker's case last month is now conviction thanks to the principal's death. The mental shutdown cases and the psychotic breakdowns are surely the Phantom Thieves doing. I remember the data you showed me about Okumura Foods. Is that the basis for these beliefs? There have been frequent occurrences of mental shutdowns surrounding Okumura recently. If only there was a clear connection between him and the Phantom Thieves. Well, it would be problematic if there wasn't one. So, you're jumping the gun here. 
You really told a man you would terminate his parental authority based purely on your speculation? I'm surprised you would say such a thing to the owner of a cafe you frequent. It's all for the sake of the case. You may have the backing of the SIU's director, but you've been far too aggressive, Sai-san. You're trespassing into police territory. Don't say nobody warned you if this becomes an issue later. My superiors told me the same thing. We first need to know what methods the Phantom Thieves are using. The police can't make a move unless that becomes apparent, after all. This opponent can't be caught by following the rules. What need is there to stick to formalities? So, you wish to ignore protocol in order to reform society. I hope you realize that's no different than what the Phantom Thieves are doing. It's a shame. Especially since we both want to capture the culprit behind the psychotic breakdowns. I'm really messed up. Shall we dispose of it? Leave it be. We do not have time to waste on a solitary feline. Is this really... impossible alone? How horrible! What? I, I can't... see... Who's... there? Hester? Morning. There's no one like the Phantom Thieves! Still not home. I'm sure he'll come back when he gets hungry. On to our next story. Late last night, multiple glass windows were found shattered at the Okumura Foods corporate headquarters. Mm -hmm. 
Other damages have also been reported, including the destruction of a statue depicting Mr. Okumura. Hmm. Huh. I wonder if someone's got a grudge against that guy. However, there were no signs of a break-in. Identifying the culprit is expected to be difficult. I can't stop watching news about the Phantom Thieves. Hilarious. Impossible. This is huge! It is the headquarters of a large corporation, after all. If anything, getting into the real building is impossible. Mona seriously went to a palace based on somewhere like this? It's definitely on a different scale than the ones we've dealt with previously. I searched Okumura online. He's totally up to something. Don't you think he's guilty, too? Positive, I'm right. We're here for Mona. I know, I know. We gotta make sure we squeeze the juice on those mental shutdown things out of him, too. You said you found the palace keywords, right, Futaba? The corporate HQ is outer space. Huh? The hell? Oh, so that's why it's called Big Bang Burger. The Big Bang is space lingo, you know? Um. Not necessarily. So the concept behind the store branch name came from the CEO himself. Outer space, hmm? How exciting. We better be able to breathe once we get in there. Is everyone ready? I'm activating it now. considered threats? President Okumura must be on guard what with everything that's been in the news. That bastard. He's just causing more trouble for us. Whoa. It's as though we're in a film. I wish I had brought my sketchbook. Hey. All right. 
that robots there are tons of them they all have the big bang burger logo they're saying something you must adhere to your shifts if you don't like it you can quit however you will not be compensated what are they talking about Said it's being disposed of. These robots are part of Okumura's cognition, correct? That means they represent. This is pure speculation, but this is most likely how the workers of Okumura Foods are viewed by their CEO. So he thinks they're his robots? If they're treated like this in reality as well, and the company truly is exploiting them. See? Okumura is a piece of shit, just like I said! Mona is our main objective here. He doesn't seem to be anywhere nearby. Let's search further in. <sighs> Damn it. Look at it. There's no way we can force that thing open. We've hit a blockade quite early. But we have to control the real Okumura's cognition to pass. Oh, that means Mona hasn't been able to proceed any further either. So if he's here in the palace, he would have to be somewhere before this door. Hold, Vigilante! Who's that? <sighs> Close. Could she be? A black mask? Wait, is she the one Madarame and Kanashiro were talking about? So, she's the reason for all those people going brain dead? It was a girl this whole time? <sighs> Are you the one who has been following us? Say something, damn it! <laughs> Enough of your misunderstandings. Mona! You're okay! Long time no see, Panther. Uh, hasn't been that long. If you came for the treasure, you should just go home with your tail between your legs. Actually, we were looking for you. The treasure will be taken by me, and this... This beauty thief! Beauty thief? I'll have you know she's a Persona user, too. My name is Beauty Thief. She really called herself that? Uh, any tension that was in the air has just gone out the window. We will take the treasure. 
Mona already said that. You are not qualified to be phantom thieves. Do you even understand what it means to be a phantom thief? An admirable phantom thief is... Yeah, tell them! You! What do you think it means? Yes, that's... right? Enough with the idle chit-chat! You started it. Mona, who the hell is she? Wait, I'll fix this. You! Uh, me? Learn to take a hint. Huh? And you, you're very vulgar and very stupid. What? Um... What was it again? You came all the way here just to say that. I don't know. Kind of feels like she ain't dangerous at all. We will take the treasure. You already said that. We don't have time to chat. <sighs> no point. It won't open. Don't underestimate us. Here they come. Huh? Huh? Snap out of it. We need to go. We'll meet up later at our usual spot. Let's hurry. Oh, hey. Bet you're tired. Uh, that was quite rough. I haven't felt exhaustion like this since... I first awakened to my persona. What have you been looking at all this time? <sighs> Sorry, I just didn't want to stand around and wait. <sighs> the burglary at Okumura Foods is circulating the news again. Ugh, damn it! Why'd they keep coming after only me? It's all because Little Miss Beauty Thief opened that door. That door most likely had a biometric authentication lock. So, how'd she get it to open? I wonder who that girl could be. We were told that she's a Persona user, correct? Do you believe it's true? Well, she did look like one. Did Mona betray us? I want to believe that too. I don't think he's betrayed us. If he had, it'd make more sense for him to directly threaten us. Such as exposing our identities. Either way, how the hell's Morgana related to that beauty thief? Considering her tone and physique, she looked about our age. I feel like I've seen her somewhere. Uh, for real? Where at? At school, I think? Wait, what? But now that you mention it, I feel like I've seen her too. Is she a student of Shujin? I just feel like that's the case. She did have a mask on, after all. The registry in the student council room has photos of every student. Let's check them all tomorrow. If we can figure out the identity of the beauty thief, that may help us regain contact with Morgana. Futaba and I should further probe into Okumura Foods, then. It'd be best if we investigate how sudden mental shutdowns are connected to them. We're gonna take them down.
Man, this girl's hot! Ah, oh, but she's younger than me. Ryuji! No way! She's the same age as me? She looks like my dad's friend. Get back to work. Why don't we take a break? It's no surprise our concentration is waning. Even if it's only the female students, there are easily hundreds of them. They're all starting to look the same to me. Think we can really find her? Someone sure is confident. Hmm? This girl! Haru Okumura. Okumura? Wasn't the beauty thief like this too? Especially the fluffy hair. That's gotta be her. It would also explain how she got past the door's biometric reader. This may be worth looking into. But why was she at the palace? We could just make her spill the beans herself. She may have already gone home for the day, so let's try tomorrow. I'm gonna lock up. I'll see you all tomorrow. Yet. I'm Haru Okumura, correct? The only daughter of Kunikazu Okumura, CEO of Okumura Foods. Care to explain why you were inside your father's palace? Oh, so that's where we met. Wow, you figured it out in just a day. You looked really good in that biker gang outfit. Let's not talk about that. So, why did you become a phantom thief? <sighs> My father's highly regarded as a manager, but I had various... doubts about him. Things have grown quite serious lately. That's why I want to make amends, even though it may only be for my own satisfaction. But I wonder if this is just running from the problem. Where did you meet Morgana? It was pure coincidence. I found a lonely-looking cat in front of our office building. And that was Morgana? Mm-hmm. And when I followed him, I ended up in the Metaverse. There's no way for me to change my father's company. But if I became a phantom thief, I thought I'd at least be able to change him. Isn't there any way we can work together? I can't cooperate with people who don't know what they want to do. What you're doing is unnecessarily causing a stir among the public. Besides, the phantom thieves who should be helping the weak are not helping their own teammate. Uh. I just want my father to atone for his crimes, and help Monachan who gave me a chance to do just that. But aren't our objectives the same? It'd be better if we were... No, thank you. I will do this with Monachan and him alone. She hit quite a sore spot. We don't know what we want to do, huh? It seems getting her cooperation won't be possible. Let's consult with the others on our next move. We shouldn't ignore Morgana either. I'm home, father. Drive them away. That's right. Make it a priority. I finally get a foothold into politics, and this happens. Phantom thieves? Huh. Did the media ask you anything? No, not at all. Um, what's this about phantom thieves? 
It seems I'm ranked first on the forum of these so-called phantom thieves. Is it because of the news coverage? It's jealousy of the successful. Nothing but the barks of the masses who lack the resolve to sacrifice what's needed for their well-being. Both the young and the old are overjoyed with some foolish idols. This country has no future. What if they do exist? What if these phantom thieves really can steal hearts? Are you still having doubts about me? No. More importantly, I hope things are going well with that young man. Yes, father. Very well, then. He may not seem like it, but he's still the son of an influential politician. Be cordial with him. He'll eventually become a necessary connection for this company. Or rather, for me. I understand. I will do the best I can. Good. That's how a daughter of Okumura should be. I can't believe it.
You're going to apologize when Mona comes, all right? I know already. And why are you just saying that to me? We need to be wary of the beauty thief, too. So we're doing a stakeout here. We'd better be ready for the long haul. Ain't he gonna show up today? I mean, what time is it now? Hold that thought. You guys are seriously slacking off way too much. Do you have business with us? Aren't you fulfilling the requests on the Phantom Aficionado website? Even leaving comments? It'd be best if you don't accept them so recklessly. The police will track you down in no time. If that were to happen, we'd be caught up in it as well. Uh, that's not what I intended. But that would be my fault. Uh, I'm actually not that great with machines. I'm truly sorry. Why are you apologizing? They're telling us for our sake. We should be thanking them. Won't you please put what happened behind us? So I'm the one you're here for? You guys need me after all? Is that it? Really? Ryuji! We're sorry too, Morgana. We weren't taking your feelings into consideration at all. Lady on. Uh, everyone, shouldn't you be using code names? Ryuji didn't really mean what he said, you know? He wants to apologize. Well, it's like... It was my bad, too. I mean, I don't mind if you're not human or if you're useless. What a douche. On setup was completely ruined. Oh, is that right? So I am just some useless cat to you guys. You're so full of yourselves, but do you have the skills to back that up? Try and catch me then! Get in, beauty thief! If you can't do this, don't count on me ever coming back. There they go. Did he even think about how long he made us wait? Fine! We'll do this! Jeez, this isn't what we came here to do. All right. Piece of cake. I'm okay. Hmm. 
serves them right. Are you sure that was what you wanted? Of course it was. You made me look everywhere for you. What were you doing somewhere without any reception? Out late with guys, that's it, isn't it? I would never do such a thing! Come on, let me have some fun too, will ya? Can't you do that for me? Uh! Haru! You little... Let go of Haru! Ah! Uh, what the... Goddamn cat! Yeah! Mama-chan! Damn it. I, I really am... Useless at this rate. Someone... Anyone... Is anybody out there? Will you shut up, you stupid cat? Damn that Morgana! He is so getting it the next time we run into him! Somebody? Was that Mona's voice? Hey, over there! That doesn't seem right to me! about the disturbance. It's just a lover's quarrel with my fiance. Fian what? But she's clearly fighting you. How dare you make a fool of me? I'll be telling your father about this too. I won't forget your faces. Are you okay? I'm fine, but Mona-chan... This is nothing. Was that person really your fiance? Oh, so you're engaged then? That didn't seem like an ordinary fight though. Shouldn't you talk to your parents about it? I think it'd be useless. I'll just be told to beg for his forgiveness. Even if it means groveling on the ground. <laughs> it seems she has her reasons. Apologize about what happened earlier. So, would you let Haru rest for a while? Of course. We'll take her to your place, yeah? Thanks. Did you get enough rest? Mona-chan? Anyway, it's just as I told you a moment ago. I can't have you guys risk your lives anymore for someone useless like me. To be frank, there's no assurance that I'll turn back into a human either. This can't be called a fair deal. That's why I think we should split up. <laughs> Who said we're acting as phantom thieves for your sake? I'm doing it to expand my own horizons. No need to tiptoe around the situation. We're splitting up. You should stop lying. Do you remember what you said to me when I found you collapsed in the metaverse? That you're a phantom thief. That you're going to get stronger and have the others acknowledge you. You love being here. Don't you? Of course not. I was lying to myself too. But when I formed a contract with my persona, I understood it all. Doing this because my father is doing something horrible was nothing but a superficial reason. The truth is, I... Don't want to get married, right? I thought that since an adult with responsibilities made the decision, it couldn't be wrong. I was such a fool, tied down by vague notions, and stayed quiet as my marriage partner was chosen. But I won't tolerate this anymore. 
I can't stand that creep! <sighs> That's how I truly feel. Why are you looking at me all of a sudden? Mona-chan, why is it that you always talked about becoming human again? That's... At first, I only thought of this team as a temporary dwelling until I regained my memories. But I wasn't making any progress on finding out what I am or why I was born. Morgana... I wanted a reason of my own. A reason to stay with the Phantom Thieves. I don't have anyone I want to save or get revenge on. Someone like me has no reason to stay here. That's why... To me... This team is... Come on, say it! You can do it! It's the only place I can belong! I want to stay here forever! That was refreshingly honest. <laughs> you should have just said so from the start, jeez. If you stick with me, there's no telling what kind of trouble will come up. You better be sure about this! It's a little late for all that, don't you think? Of course we want to stay with you, too. <clears throat> uh, so... Well... I'm sorry I worried you guys. This is where I belong. My mind's all set. I'll make sure to work hard to pay my dues. It's too late to cancel our deal, got it? We're reforming our give-and-take deal. All right. Well, in the end, wouldn't you say that your encounter with us was destiny? That's right. Encounter. Hmm? Oh crap, the last train's coming up! I must go as well. Let's continue this another time. I... Stay at our place. I'll arrange it. See you all tomorrow! I'm gonna sleep. I'm exhausted. Man. This place is as drab as always. I should write something. going on here? You brought over another girl? Of course it worries me. I'm your guardian. So, you found our cat and even took care of it. Oh, it wasn't a bother or anything. I'm the one who took care of you, though. <laughs> What's up? You seem happy. It's been a while since I've had a meal with so many people. Make sure you go home today before it gets too late, okay? I'm sure your parents are worried. It's fine if you don't want to go home either, you know? No, I'll go home. If my father suspects something, it'll be more difficult to change his heart, wouldn't it? I'll contact you again, so... Oh, right! Can we exchange contact info? Will you be okay on your own? If you need, I can go with you. You belong here, don't you, Monachan? Well, yeah. The matter's been settled. You'll be welcomed into his household. Excuse me? 
You won't officially be registered yet, but isn't that how things are with young people these days? Go prove your sincerity to him. You can do that, can't you? So, I'm not even allowed to decide where I will live, am I? Not only do you come home late, you even stayed out overnight without permission. I thought I had been clear about the friends you choose. Father, they're not like... I have my hands full right now with the company. Don't cause any more trouble for me. Hello. Yes, it's fine. Go on. Hello? I need to discuss something with everyone. Can we all meet? Horrible. It's that same fiance guy, right? You know what's going to happen. Based on what Haru just told us, she'll be taken to his house on October 11th. That means our deadline is the 10th. But if we trigger a change of heart in your father, he'll definitely be taken by the police. The label of a criminal's daughter will forever stick with you. Your current living situation may change as well. If I accept a happiness based on the misfortune of others, I'll be no better than my father. And to be honest, I've actually left a request on the Phantom Aficionado website before. She did so around the time we were mulling over who to target next. But the Phantom Thieves didn't make a move. That's when I met Mona-chan. I thought it was fate. I made my decision then. If the Phantom Thieves wouldn't act, I'd do it myself. The mental shutdowns, treasure, and finally, the change of heart. Our interests have come together. Would you cooperate with us now? Of course! I should be the one cordially asking to be allowed on the team. From here on, we may be going up against the culprit behind those mental shutdown occurrences. This will be different from our training in Mementos. You better brace yourselves. You're suddenly lecturing us? You're too naive. Haru's barely a hair better than an amateur. She's awakened to her powers, but it's weak. Even her persona's lacking a solid form at the moment. Weak? Really? She can transform at the very least, but to be frank, she may slow us down. A lot. I'm sorry for causing such trouble. Nah, don't worry about it. It's actually convenient for us to target that CEO. Check out this news blog. There's a lot of negative comments in regard to the Phantom Thieves. The names of obvious criminals have come up, so why haven't the Phantom Thieves acted yet? The way they're getting heated is on a different level. Don't forget about the intel on the mental shutdown cases, all right? Of course! We'll get them both! October, uh, 10th, was it? We're gonna change Okumura's heart by then. I can't forgive them! I should write something. <laughs> 